Welcome to Rudy the Man. Rudy the Handyman, 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 Rudy the Welcome to Rudy the Man. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to hang a microwave. I've already hung this microwave, but now I'm going to tell you the story behind it. Also, too, I'm wearing my new shirt. Thank you, Susie, for making it for me. Rudy the Man shirt. Have a great day. I used to have a microwave here. It's gone. It broke. So I bought a new one. Here it goes. Here is my new GE Profile Convection Microwave. Pretty snazzy. It's 540 bucks and I don't want to spend a hundred bucks to have somebody install it. Before beginning, it's always a good idea to just check out the installation manual. Turn off the power. I don't do that, but you probably should. This is about exhaust stuff. I'm not gonna, ha I don't have an exhaust, as you can tell. Mine exhausts nowhere. It exhausts to the room, so that's a bummer, but if I have one, it's even better. I don't. Before I finish mounting the microwave, I need to make sure my blower system is blowing the proper way. Right now it's set up for blowing coming out of the top. Again, they don't have a vent on the top. It's, or I can have it come out the back. I don't have a vent there. I'm gonna have mine blowing through these fins right here. So I have to adjust these blower motors to do that. So you wanna do this prior to setting it in the mount. I didn't show how to change the orientation of the blower motors. Every make and model has its own way of doing it and I want you to follow your manual. Um, you can really mess it up if you don't pay attention how you're doing it. So again, refer to your manual for this process. Safety glasses, what you'll need, drill, all this stuff. Yeah, I have it all. We're good. Have to remove the bracket in the back. One screw here. These are retaining screws to keep the bracket on. For shipping only. When doing anything yourself, you never know that there could be a problem or not. Well, today I ran into a problem, which is great. You can see what happened. I grabbed this frame, I put it in, hold it up, and it won't go to the wall. It's a gap. I'm off by a quarter inch. But what do I have? I have backsplash. I have granite backsplash that's too high. Either A, I can return it and buy a smaller one, which I'm not going to do, or I can go ahead and cut it. If I had to pay someone to cut this, it'd be like 250 bucks. I'm going to do it myself, and... We're gonna have an adventure. We're gonna learn something else. I measure my bracket. My bracket is 16 and a half inches. My opening is only 16 and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and measure from the top of my cabinet, which is right here. That is the top of my cabinet, not here, right here. So when I'm measuring, I don't care about this void, I care about right here. That's where my finished cabinet is. I measure all the way from the, from the bottom of my cabinet, the finished cabinet, all the way down, I'm gonna say to 16, three quarters right here. Okay, go to the same the other side over here. Same the other side, making sure I'm against the cabinet. So I'm getting a true reading measurement. I'm gonna scoot it all the way over to it, make sure my line's straight. I'm in at 16 and three quarters. I'm right here. Now I'm gonna get a, some blue tape. Gonna go to the bottom one here first, move it to here, make sure I'm good, and then I'm gonna tape it up. Go into Home Depot, go buy a diamond tip cutting wheel. And someone just sneezed. I went ahead and put the blade on, and now I'm gonna put on the guard because it's gonna get messy and dirty pretty easy. Okay, I had to remove the oven because I'm gonna make a big mess. And here's my line that I have underneath here. I'm gonna cut it now, and believe me, it's gonna be a sandy mess. You always drill a hole in the corner, so when your blade's cutting, it won't purchase the next sheet, which is like right here. So I put a hole right there, I'm gonna just try to run a line. But I'm telling you right now, it's gonna make a giant mess, and the more you tape off, the better you'll be, and the happier your spouse will be. So here goes nothing. When you cut this, you need to have safety glasses. Also a mask, but guess what? I forgot the mask. So I'm using a shirt, I'm gonna tap it around my face so I don't have to get it in my lungs because believe me, you don't want this stuff in your lungs. It'll give you bloody noses and you'll be upset about it. So here we go. 
hearing protection also is recommended. Have it if you want to go deaf. The aftermath, the house is covered in dust. Look at all that dust. I should have moved this stuff over here. I didn't move it. All this dust. It's a lot of dust. Look at my face. It's dusty. I think this dust, though, is worth 350 bucks. They want to pull this part off the wall, re-glue it, take it outside, cut it with the wet saw. And again, my cut's not perfect, but if you can see, my bracket's going to hide a lot of my stuff, and I'm going to cock it in, and you're never going to see these little jagged parts. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. I saved myself 350 bucks. Way worth it. I'll clean up the mess. And next time, empty out stuff like this. I should have moved that. That's my own fault. That's my own fault as well. But again, it's worth the savings. <laughs> Eighteen years of marriage, and she still helps me out. I'm blessed. Saving money. I went ahead and I put the bracket up, and I marked all the holes. You see where it says C, A, and uh, I hit a stud right here. That's one I added for myself, and I hit a stud right here. It's really important to try to get at least two studs, especially with something this heavy. Now I have to draw the holes for the toggle bolts. Go ahead and thread through the hole you want it through. Thread the hole. Get the back on it. Twist. That one's good to go. Let's see. Put it through. Now I'm going to go ahead and push them through the hole. Squeeze this back of this toggle bolt right here. And then jam it through the hole. That one's in. Come down here. Again, get a few turns on it so it don't fall off when you push it. Push it through. Toggle bolt in. Okay, once you have the toggle bolts in, you have to have back pressure. You can't tighten them this way. You gotta pull it out, get your screw gun to it, and then speed it up and you're gonna watch it suck in. So I'm, pu I'm pushing this way as it goes, I still fall through. It has to have back pressure. So here you go. That one's close. I'm gonna go down, come down here for this one down here. Pull it out. Run on my screw gun. That's good there. Pull back here. Then go my top again. See how it's loose. Pull it out a little bit. You can pinch your fingers, so be careful when you do it. Okay, that's there. So now I'm good to go. So I got a bolt right here on a stud. A screw right here and a stud, and a screw right here and a stud. Only two toggle bolts. This, is B. this ain't going nowhere. Here's my upper template. I have to go ahead and make sure this fits in the upper cabinet. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, tape this to the top. See right there where it says E1 over here. It says, uh, sorry, E, and then over here it says D. I'm gonna have to drill holes in this in the upper cabinets to help keep it from rocking and falling forward. Right here is the upper cabinet. See where it says wall. Go ahead and tape this to the upper cabinet. So I normally start on one side like this, go all the way to the wall. That's the most important part is going to the wall. I pulled off tape for myself because I've done it so many times. You have a little tape and you tape it to your upper cabinet. It's going to fall like a thousand times. Sometimes I use tacks before. Tacks works really good. You don't have to worry about the tacks. Keep falling. Tape will come loose, especially after I cut that granite. All that sandy dust is everywhere. So go to the wall and then tape it up. And I'm gonna go to here. So I'm like, now I'm gonna draw my holes. Okay. Holes are all drilled. Time to pull this paper off now. Again, I, I think tacks are better for this. It sticks in that wood a little bit and it's, more, it's way more uh, secure. The instructions show you not to do it as one person, to use two people. They'll show you how to do it like this. Well, I've done it so many times. I feel comfortable lifting 85 pounds by myself. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this in a wipe video so you can see what happens here. Keep my legs, put it up over here. Make sure everything's kind of paired your way. Load it in the back like this, tilt yourself back. Load it in the back, preload it, and I'm gonna fall on those hooks. All right, now I'm in those hooks so they can tell. When I pull it, it's not coming to me. Get my cord, put it to, see right now it's resting on my chest. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cord. Show it do this hole right here in the back side. And again, if you're a little short, it's kind of hard to do this by yourself, so you might need to have somebody else. I'm gonna lean it up, has to pull the cord in. Lean it up, has to pull the cord in. Right here. And 
in, I'm in the hole, okay? So now I'm leaning on it. I'm not really holding the weight. And I'm coming over here, I'm gonna grab one of my screws and I'm gonna start looking through this hole up here, threading my screws in. So I know I'm right here on the microwave. First hole. I'm in. First one's in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it for myself. Okay, now this should hold enough to hold me for here. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna grab another screw over here. Grab it up. And again, this whole time I'm, I'm holding about. <laughs> so gross, sorry. <laughs> I totally put some sand in my mouth. So I've, this whole time I'm holding maybe, I don't know, 25 pounds against the wall. She's up. Sometimes when you have existing microwaves, they actually go in the same hole and the hole becomes weak. So you have to have put a washer around it to make sure your hole is strong enough to hold it. That was my old hole. I had another hole here. These ones here line up differently. Over here was the same thing. I had to put a washer to make it stronger. It's up, it's hanging right now. Everything looks good. So you can't even tell. The backsplash is not perfect. You can't even tell. It's gonna be right there. If I was really that worried about it, I would cock it maybe. I don't care that much and it's good to me. So, hey guys, all hung up, all ready to go. Thanks for watching. You're the man.